Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? <clears throat> my name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for January 2022, darling. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how these tarot cards resonate, because that's how I keep up with you, is through the comments, Leo, as well as if you do enjoy this vibe for today or this background, darling. I would appreciate it if you were to give this video, Leo, a like and subscribe, because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, darling. All right? Be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Leo, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, as well as be looking for the secret word to pop up somewhere in this video, Leo, to see, uh, rather to write down in the comments below to be entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading, my mean. All right, so let's just jump right into your tarot reading today and see where the vibes are at. So we have the magician energy here, Leo. All right, darling, we're starting out strong for you, Leo. This makes so much sense for you, I feel as well. The magician energy is all about manifesting, darling. All right, so what it is that you're desiring, your wishes are your own command, darling, right? The magician manifests the reality that they see, that they want to see in the world. And this is just an extra affirmation to you, uh, Leo, that you are manifesting everything that you it is that you're wanting. If you've been hoping for a certain outcome uh, from a situation take heed in this fact that it's most likely going to be happening just as long as you're willing are wanting to be manifesting that all right pay attention to your intent darling all right we have the high priestess energy coming forward to you as well leo all right and so you know this as well but i mean yeah you knew this even when i just pulled the magician energy darling i'm just like yeah that makes sense for leo and i'm sure as if many of you leos were just like yeah that makes sense for me as well you know leo you guys know your power you know like you know this you know what the outcome is going to be you like and the outcome is going to be exactly what it is that you already planned because you are the mastermind, Leo. All right. Even though a lot of people will always like make this make Leo's out to be where it's just like just grabbing attention and loud and all this they don't ever talk about the what's going on internally for leo all right the leo's they may be attracting all this attention having uh, these conversations and being the peacock of the party darling right but there's are there's so much always going on internally that the leo is planning as well and then you have the judgment energy coming in here. Ooh, three major arcana coming in for you, Leo. And can we appreciate this? You're taking action, Leo. All right. This is karmic justice as well. And so in this dynamic here, you're getting quite literally everything that it is that you desire because you deserve it because you've earned this, because you put the work in for this, right, Leo? And so everything that comes to you and that will happen to you will be from what it is that you deserve, from what it is that you created yourself. And back of the deck, energy is the Four of Pentacles, uh, Leo. So this is a card of investments, right? Whether this is financial investments and just or just of your energy in general. You made the right investments in a situation. You, it's, you know, if we're going to go into the analogy of stock here, Leo, all right? You, you knew exactly what to be putting stock into, right? Because you knew like where where the abundance lies right so it's not going to come as a shocker to you when you wake up next the next day and you see that you your stocks just skyrocketed that your investments tripled right and that magician energy is very high potent manifesting energy here and so leo listen to your intuition at this time because high priestess four of pentacles here this is a powerful message leo letting you know directly that like you know where to invest your energy you know where to put where to put stock all right so let's continue on with your reading let's get some clarifiers here leo we have the four of swords coming in here all right so this is with some deep thought you know this didn't come overnight for you leo right you know we always hear like the overnight success and what have you but for you this wasn't overnight at all leo for you 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 went through the hardships you put in the work for this you did the self-reflection you got you did the work to get so comfortable with your intuition to get so comfortable with your ability to manifest leo you know and again like for you guys leo 
people don't realize the hardships the battles that you had to deal with even if it's just internally for some of you guys leo you had to learn how to trust yourself it was in, but you only had to learn how to start trusting yourself based off of like experiences from other people is what i'm gathering you know with that ten of swords here it's like you had to do like you probably are like the black sheep of your family leo of where you had to break the mold you had to everyone else in your family was telling you what you were going to be how you should be and just all these attributes about yourself and everything like deciding for you when in for you leo you had to break those cycles right you were breaking those cycles everyone else always told you that you weren't like you weren't going to amount to anything jokes on them darling leo you make the proper investments right to get yourself in a place of where for example if you are wanting to be a millionaire right that i do see strong potential in that many people i feel like it's going to be building up something of like a business of some sort something that you can put your name on something that you're going to be known for for time to come and then yeah darling this is straight up like i don't see any type of social right now in this row right here darling leo nine of pentacles this is a card my favorite card for my self-employed this is an energy of where you are taken care of again this is through your work leo and this is a layered message here because nine of pentacles is a very powerful card for self successful self-employment but if you also pay attention to the artwork of the nine of pentacles it's usually followed with some type of animal usually an aviary and I always see this as like your spirit, uh, spirit guide, um, guiding you, telling you which pentacle to pick out and when, right? And so really honing in continuously in that message of the uh, high priestess, right? Of your intuition, because that's how your spiritual team communicates with you is through your uh, intuition, through your gut instinct. I have a sneeze that's like trying to come out, honey. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right <laughs> there we go i guess i needed to mention it to get it out there all right leos so let's get into your uh second row now back of the deck by the way was the emperor energy here this is your energy in my opinion uh leo i feel like you really are exuding emperor energy here emperor is very confident in what it is that they are doing very confident in their thoughts what and very confident in their investments so leo you like darling this reading is just going to be doing nothing but gassing you up leo but rightfully so darling all right let's continue on with your reading here let's get into your second row what else are are my beautiful leos manifesting at this time we're going to be putting these to the side as well all right so six of wands this is what, like when i first started shuffling i noticed it was in the back of the deck um so it's very interesting that we see the six of wands here leo for you also aries got six of wands in the same exact placement and so if you have aries in your chart darling what's up check out aries reading and so magician energy here for you leo or rather under your magician energy here so this is powerful because the six of wands is a card i always say is like the fame and fortune card getting garnering a lot of attention garnering a lot of success and you, it's usually kind of symbolized by like some type of olympic standing or what have you right so you get the gold medal 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 can i speak uh leo oh my gosh you get the gold medal you get the success this like this is really just all about like my gosh this is very 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 successful energy that we're tapping into here leo very successful energy here seven of swords energy here and this is under your high priestess and then we have coming in under your judgment energy the page of swords so it's interesting here leo because it's like as you continue on with the success here then you have the shady energy here it's page, seven of swords and with this page of swords here and then the nine of wands coming in here back of the deck so i kind of get this narrative here leo as you start going forward towards the success in your life you and you already have a mind up for this as well both due to the high priestess but as well with this page of swords here you already have a mind for who it is this is about you already are like looking at like those past family members those friendships and what have you all those people that were telling you leo that you weren't going to amount to anything the very people that you had to heal from their projections here that uh ten of swords four of swords here 
they're going to be coming back in from the woodwork, darling, I feel, uh, once you start having that success, right? And you're going to be the nine of wands, the wounded warrior, right? So you may have been wounded by their words but at one point, but never again, right? You're standing strong in your conviction, Leo, and you are really, I don't, I, I see you not allowing this energy back in. You're just like, uh-uh, honey. Uh, you tried to take them along in your journey at one point and they didn't want to be having a part of it they weren't a good support system for you leo so let's clarify this right it's so interesting because it's like you already like you already are keeping one eye on them and maybe that's even part of like you already knew the whole storyline here where you're just like you knew you were going to make these good investments your and maybe you spoke your visions to these people and they laughed at you and so then it's just like became an energy where for you leo you're just like i'll show you darling so you have the nine of cups coming in here leo which is the wish fulfillment card right a wish being granted rather very interesting nine on nine you also have the king of pentacles coming in leo they also aries also got this in this exact placement as well so interesting hmm. and so for you leo and then we have the nine of wands again, darling. All right, I'm gonna to suggest to you, this is three nines all in one little stack, darling. I'm gonna to suggest to you, Leo, to write down the number nine in numerology uh, to look up at a later point to see how it resonates for you, Leo, all right? Because uh, the nine is clearly calling out to you. So Leo, let me get it so you can see all these at once. So Leo, for you guys, you're going to continue building in your empire, right? And you're going to just continue standing strong in your power while you have all these other energies below you, beneath you, really, Leo, asking for chump change, right? As you continue having every single desire being granted that you ever have wanted with that Nana Cups, right? Building that strong foundational uh wealth for you really this is like we're looking at like generational wealth here truly uh for many of you leos here like what the the picture that you have what it is that you're investing your energy into with that four of pentacles and that magician energy darling like you we're thinking big picture here we're not just thinking just be, like receiving some positive news re receiving like a raise and what have you darling like no darling we're we're thinking much bigger we're going much bigger darling so just i mean and you already know this leo but just be ready for these people coming trying to come back in from the woodworks who told you that you couldn't amount to anything being the same exact people being like oh hey leo don't forget about me you know it's like mm, it's not the vibe darling not the vibe so let's continue on for your third row now darling let's see what we got else what else we got going on for you we have the Page of Cups coming in here under your Six of Wands, as well as your Magician energy. Page of Cups refers to new energy coming into your life, whether that new energy is new people or a new opportunity coming in. It also refers to the deepening of current uh, situations as well, Leo, all right? You have the Ten of Swords following through again under your High Priestess and Seven of Swords. So it's so interesting. It's like everything that you had to heal from where it's like, you're, you, let's uh, just use an analogy, right? You had family always telling you, Leo, that you were too much or that you were never going to amount to anything and you were going to be a failure, right? You had to heal from that, right? Because you knew that wasn't your reality. And so once you heal from that and then get your accomplishments after healing from that, again, they keep coming back in, darling, right? Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, darling. What was I just saying? New energy coming back into your, like, coming into your life, darling. Like, they keep trying to come back in here, uh, Leo. They're not going to leave without a fight because they're just like, oh my gosh, like, they really want some of what you've earned, some of yours. Ten of Wands coming in here, Judgment and Page of Swords energy, or rather it's under the Judgment and Page of Swords energy here. So this is the Karmic Justice, right? This is the Karmic Justice because they were sleeping on you, Leo, with this Four of Cups here. They were sleeping on you this entire time, but you already knew your purpose. You knew what it is that you were creating, Leo. And so 
you're just being told at this time just to continue rising in your um, excellence, really, uh, here, Leo. Don't be surprised when people try to come in from the word works. Do not allow them to uh, ride on your emotions, Leo, because remember what it is that they did to you in the first place, right? They did nothing but put baggage into your life, right? Add heaviness here. They did nothing but bring that pain here. And now they're trying to come back into your life after you start having all the success happening that you knew you were going to have from the very get-go, right? But they didn't want to be that support system. They didn't want to ride with you. They didn't want to celebrate you. So, I mean, they made their choices, darling. And now they have to uh, stick with it, right? Clarifying this, we have 10 of cups now. The only 10 that we're missing in your reading now at this point, Leo, is the 10 of pentacles, darling. 10 of cups here. Very much so people from like your, I get so many people from like the family, honey, that you're having to put guard boundaries on because it's like, as you continue filling up all your cups, honey, you're going to have to exude this queen of swords energy here, Leo, where you're really being uh, cunning here, where you're having to be very cutthroat and just be like, nope, you can't come into my life, darling, as the opportunities approach you, right? And as well as people trying to come in and try to social climb off of you, Leo, as they try to use you for something thing right um but you always are you're it's so interesting how you're going to be having so many opportunities just rolling on in leo that quite literally you're going to make every energy that ever slept on you regret that they ever did right because they made you feel like this at one point in your life and now with that five of pentacles and now the roles are going to be reversed it's funny how that always will happen right especially with that karmic justice honey this you are serving karmic justice through you being successful darling the best success or the best revenge is through success honey and you are serving it honey you are serving it leo come on now so let's get into your oracle cards before we wrap up this tarot reading here today for you darling mm -mm. all right we have the humpback whale coming in for you leo some of you guys might be into music or you're just being told to continue uh doing your healing uh including music listening to binarial beats but the humpback whale brings forth this message leo of music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing playing an instrument or just listening to music all right so maybe your spiritual team is going to be showcasing messages through uh the music that you listen to uh, Leo, pay attention to the radio at this time. That might be how they communicate with you as well. And then the moon oracle card we have coming in here, <clears throat> honey, your hard work is paying off, right? New moon in Capricorn. You knew this, right? This, this whole reading encapsulates this energy as a whole, right? So Leo, I say, let me be the first one to congratulate you on the success, darling. You knew this was coming. You knew your vision and you kept with that vision, darling. And allow every single person that ever doubted you to suffer, all right? You allow them to suffer because all they had to do was support you and they made the choice not to, Leo. So I love you so much, darling. Hopefully you found some cards that resonate in this reading today, darling. Uh, if you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Leo, uh, if you want to book a private to personal reading with me, darling, my website's simplyvelka.com. Next to my social media is TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. All that just being Simply Velka, same as my YouTube channel, honey. Uh, but until next time, Leo, I love you so much, darling, and I'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future. Bye, y'all.